Hello guys, hopefully everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be doing the concept of job assignment problem using uh, branch uh, and bound method. Now, in this uh, particular problem, what we have to do is uh, what there are four workers. Let's say there are four workers, and all workers are A, B, C, D, and there are four jobs. So every worker should be assigned a particular job. Now, job is dependent upon what is the cost uh, for a particular worker. So we have to basically deal with the minimum possible cost. And after dealing with minimum possible cost, we basically assign the value. Uh, A, B, C, D. We have to assign the job to A first, then B, then C, and then D. By default, we will get. If A is getting a particular job, B cannot get that job, C cannot get that job, and D cannot get that job. So what we have to do is, uh, in this particular uh, particular whole scenario, uh, we are going to take, uh, firstly, we have to calculate because it is a minimization problem. In minimization problem, firstly, we'll calculate minimum cost for uh, for this particular row. Minimum cost is 2. For this particular row, minimum cost is 3. For this minimum row, the minimum cost is uh, 1. And for this particular minimum cost is 4. 4 plus 1, 5 plus 2, uh, 7 plus 3, 10. So lower bound definitely is 10. So this is a state space tree. Uh, we have to calculate uh, for every particular, every particular scenario. So what we will do, we'll start with A. And what we will do for A, we will freeze this row, right? So it means that A has a possibility of getting job 1. A has a possibility of getting job 2. A has a possibility for getting job 3. And A has also a possibility of getting job 4. So whatever minimum cost for other uh, workers that we calculate, for A, uh, there is a possibility B can get certain answer, C can get certain answer, D can get certain answer if A gets job 1. Similarly, if A gets job uh, job 2, B, C, D can cert get certain answer. So wherever minimum cost we cal calculate, that is a, a, a job assigned to A. So what we will do, A if A gets job 1, so it means 9 is reserved plus. Now, then we have to uh, try and get uh, uh, B certain jobs, but obviously this row is reserved. We will not touch it. So there is possibility A can get job 2, then 2 is the cost for it. There is possibility that A gets job 3, uh, then 7 is reserved. And there is possibility that A gets job 4, 8 is reserved. Now, rest of the things we have to calculate. So if B gets job so uh, if a gets job one nine so b there is possibility what we will explore is we have to explore certain possible answers out of it so uh, your nine is reserved so how we have to calculate the rest of the particular parts what we will do is we will try to calculate these values 4, 8, 6, whichever is a lower cost, we will calculate that 4, right? Uh, 3, 1, 7, what is the minimum possible cost? 1, right? 7, 8, 4, what is the minimum possible cost? 4. We have calculated it like this. Similar pattern, similar pattern, what we have to calculate, again, I repeat, uh, with A, when A got job 1, so we have to uh, select the possibilities. So possibilities are job 2, job 3 and job 4. For job 2, minimum possible cost is for job 2, minimum possible cost is 4. So I have taken 4. For job 3, minimum possible cost is 1. So I have written 1. And for job 4, minimum possible cost we can see is 4. Similarly, A have got job 2. So guys, uh, I am uh, A has got job 2. So I am not concerned about this particular uh, column. I'm concerned with uh, this uh, this particular values uh, where 9 is reserved. We have to find the minimum 6, 5 and 7. Minimum is 5. This is this is also reserved. We are not going to check it. Uh, so job 3, 3, 1, 7 minimum value is 1. 
for job four minimum value is four. So we have taken that. Same applies uh, when A got job three. So seven is definitely reserved. This is also gets reserved. So we don't need to see these values. We have to select the possibility of job one, job two, and job four. So job one, uh, six, five, seven, five. I think is is minimum. Uh, for job uh, two, four, eight, six, four is minimum. And for job four, four is minimum. The answer is this answer. We got A is equal to job four. We got six, five, seven. So obviously, uh. A if it gets job four answer is eight. Uh, then uh, six five seven minimum value is obviously uh, five. Uh, four eight six minimum value is four and three one seven minimum value is one. So guys, this is how the uh, breakup uh, goes. Uh, if if I calculate this answer, so this is uh, nine plus nine, it is eighteen. This is two plus five seven plus one eight plus uh, four twelve. This is 12 plus this is 22 and this is 13 plus 7, 18. This has become 18. So minimum out of this is A is job 2. So clearly the decision has been made. Your A worker has got job 2 and I will continue my state space tree for B now. So for B, the possibility is uh, B can get job 1. For B, uh, there is another possibility B can get job 3 and B can get job four. So in this particular part, what we will do, we will freeze this row. This particular row is uh, frozen now. So it means uh, if B gets job one, so if this is a freeze, so we got six by default as a reserve. If B gets job three, uh, this is uh, reserved. And if uh, B gets job four, then seven is reserved. Now we have to calculate all the rest of the possibilities uh, for job two minimum value would be I have to cho choose from two, eight and six minimum value is two, right? I have to choose from seven, one and nine minimum value is one and I have to choose from eight, eight and four. The minimum value is four. Now, guys, B has got job three. Uh, so three, we have not to look. So I have to uh, calculate the possibilities between nine. 5 and 7 minimum value is 5 uh, then uh, again for 2 uh, 2 4 uh, 2 8 and 6 minimum value is 2 then uh, 8 8 and 4 minimum value is 4 so we have to check the possibilities with uh, the job 4 job 4 is already reserved with 7 so job 1, 9, 5 and 7, minimum value is 5, 2, 4, uh, 2, 8 and 6, minimum value is 2 and 7, 1 and 9, minimum value is 1. So this answer is, I guess is uh, 12, 12 plus 5 uh, plus, plus 3 is 15, 12 plus uh, 6, uh, 12 plus 2 is 14 plus this is 18, this is 6 plus 4, 10 plus this is 13. So minimum cost we are getting for B as job one. So it means A has got job two, B has got job one. So C possibility is clearly and evident with C possibilities that C can get either job three or C can get job four. So that's how this whole possibility works out. So C can get uh, job three and job four. So how we have to basically see this particular scenario uh, with C is equal to job three. So I have to reserve this row five, eight, one, eight. If C has got job three, so it means one is reserved and C has got job four. It means eight is reserved. We have to calculate minimum cost for rest of the values. Uh, the minimum cost uh, would be nine, six and seven, which is minimum six, right? Uh, two, uh, four and six. What is the minimum value? Minimum value is two. Then uh, eight, eight and four minimum value is four. For C, if C gets job four, we got eight, uh, so nine, six, and seven minimum value is six. Then two, uh, four, and six minimum value is two. And uh, seven, okay, we got eight, seven, 
and for C if it gets job 4, 8, 8 and 4 minimum value if C gets job 4. Okay, so if C has already got job 4 with 8, all right, so for job 3 that would be 7, 3 and 9 minimum value is 3. So just calculate the answer. 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 4, 13. And uh, we got 14 plus 2, 16 plus 19. So, guys, minimum value for your C is 13 when you select job 3. So, that's how you calculate. Obviously, uh, A has got job 2, B has got job 1. C has got job 3, D by default will get 4. So we don't need to calculate it, it is by default. This is how your branch and bound method works out. Where we will calculate one possibility by default and rest of the uh, possibilities by calculating minimum possible cost. If you like this video, kindly like, share and subscribe and uh, kindly support us in our initiative. Thank you very, very much.